So then, Groundwork on Project Exodus is well underway now, and it got me thinking about when this ride opens, it is going to be an incredible addition to the UK. So I was thinking that for a ride of this stature, I guess you could say, it will obviously, I hope at least, will be given a very highly uh, detailed theme to match it. So I was thinking, what theme could this ride be? Now, this video, I need to make some disclaimers. Firstly, this is merely opinions that I have and thoughts that I think could work. Don't take what I'm saying here as fact. Sort of see it as a thing of, I'm trying to sort of start the conversation of what do you think it could be themed to and start conversation starting. So then without further ado, let's get into it. First up, I thought an experimental sort of facility could really work. You've had it work several times in the past. You had Nemesis Subterra or obviously Nemesis, although that opened after Nemesis. It was an attraction where it really worked. I know I've never done it. Well, hopefully I'll be doing it soon. There's a lot of things happening on that front as of current. Not going to comment because by the time this video is uploaded, there'll probably be more information. I'll be way out of date. But yeah, it worked with Subterra. You had for the Smiler, which is sort of experimental. It's the Ministry of Joy. So it's, although it isn't experimental, it's along those lines. Um, you had the maze before, the Sanctuary, I think it was called. I could be wrong there. Chances are I am wrong there. I think it was the Sanctuary that went into what the Ministry of Joy was and what they were doing and really built hype for the Smiler because it took people into the storyline so you had more of an understanding. And I think that especially thought, given that Fright Nights is their biggest event of the year, really, at least in my opinion, from people I see going, 90% of them go for Fright Nights. They could really do that and build hype for the ride with a maze themed to the theme of it. Plus, I think Thorpe doesn't have that sort of government facility experimental theme at the park as of current. You've had mazes that went down that line in the past, but I think that could really work for an attraction. Next up, I thought of, it stays on the sinister sort of creepy bordering horror themes, and it is a sinister theme a bit like, and don't push my words here, a bit like 13. I'm not saying it will be like 13, but 13 goes for that different sort of scare in that it leans very heavily on the factor of it isn't in your face horror. Like there isn't an obvious thing that you should be scared of. It leaves a lot of it to your imagination. It's difficult to explain, but with 13, it sort of gives you that sort of sinister vibe of something is happening, but you don't know what. The sort of foreboding, I guess, is the word to use. And although it's toned down because 13 is very much a family roller coaster, I think that could really work a thought. After that, I think a theme that, although I don't think is set in the cards, but I think would be really nice to see, is obviously this ride is taking up what used to be Old Town. You've had attractions go, like Creek Freak Massacre's gone. You had uh, Rocky Express and Timber Tugboat all gone now and that's not to mention the attractions that weren't open but were still there. Attractions that have had to go to create this area, they could theme it to a sort of western theme and that could really work. I know it's not really done in the UK very often because it's cold and rainy here all the time so it doesn't work very well but it can work on modern roller coaster designs not just wooden roller coasters. You had Copperhead Strike, I know that's a really out there sort of ride but that works on that theme and that's a very modern ride type so I think it could really work. After that you've got the possible theme of flight now, this one's odd, but I think it could really work. You've got, so I'm not saying it's going to be like Air because Air is more of a, well, it's not Air anymore, it's Galactica. But when it opened, Air was meant to be a theme of relaxing flight. It wasn't a scare, like it wasn't built to be intense. It was built to simulate flight. Whereas this could be the, you're flying through the air. That's why you're so tall. I think it's 236 foot. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but it could really work. It could explain the height. It could be more of an intense experience compared to, although yes, Air is more adapted to fit that storyline, giving it a flying roller coaster you're literally laying on your front flying through the layout but it could work it's a very odd one but I thought that could be really cool after that I want to say a thing that I hope they're not going to do if you disagree with me sorry on this one this is just opinion on my front I can get that a lot of people won't agree it's, I just personally, I want to say, I hope this ride isn't themed to an intellectual property of any kind. I'm not saying that Thorpe hasn't done it well. Saw the ride's an incredible ride and it's themed to obviously the Saw franchise. They've done a great job of that. But in terms of theme parks, I really like it when they lean down their own theming, when they create the story themselves, because I personally believe it makes it more rounded. I'm not saying it doesn't work, but given that Thorpe is very much out of all the Merlin parks, predominantly IP based, you've got Black Mirror, Saw the Ride, The Walking Dead, and I think that's all the current open attractions. But you think in the past, especially Fright Night's mazes, they're very often IP based, which I'm not saying is bad and I'm not saying they've done a bad job of it, but it would be really nice to see them create their own theme. I think they could do a lot more with it. Bit of a tangent there. I can perfectly understand if people disagree with me. I'm not trying to cause like, offence here. I just personally prefer it when parks go for non-IP based attractions. Not saying I don't like them, but I just think it's a lot nicer when they don't. So then thank you for watching. Please say what you think would work in the comments. Again, I just want to say this is not fact. This is opinion on my front. We have nothing to do with themes yet. We do not know. It could not be themed at all. There could not be places for them to fit in. You don't really know at this point. So please do not take what I'm saying as fact. This is just opinion. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.